never had an abortion. Norma McCorvey died of heart failure at an assisted living home in Texas on Saturday, according to a journalist close to her. She was the anonymous plaintiff behind the U.S. Supreme Court's landmark Roe v. Wade ruling that legalized abortion. The ruling established that the U.S. Constitution protects the right of a woman to have an abortion until the point of viability. Hi. While McCorvey lent her name to women's rights supporters in the 1980s, she later became a born-again Christian and told Reuters in a 1998 interview that she had become disillusioned with the pro-choice movement. I started talking to the women um, before they would go in for their abortions, after they would come out. And it was the same thing over and over. They all regretted it. We are for life. The 1973 ruling has been the focus of a divisive political, legal, and moral debate ever since. Efforts to overturn the decision are heating up with the election of Donald Trump as president in a conservative Congress, an action McCorvey in 1998 did not think would likely happen anytime soon. As much as I'd like to see Roe versus Wade overturn, I, I don't know if it'll happen in our lifetime or even in my grandchildren's lifetime, but it will happen. McCorvey was 69 years old. So right now I'd like